So now let's work around with animation elements inside of Canva. So to access the animated elements, I need to go to elements right over here. And then in elements, I'm already in the animated section, as you can see. But you can click over here and it is usually under the stickers right over here. So under the stickers, if you click on see all, you'll be able to access the animated elements as you like. So just like that, I'm going to go over here and let us use some animation elements like food stickers to make a small animation on my own. So uh, it might not be very, very uh, customizable, but it can really create interesting elements in a very short amount of time. So let's say I want to bring this recipe first. So let me just bring that out on the uh, first layer. So there's the animation and usually the animation is by default five seconds. So unless you have a premium account, you cannot actually change the length unless you import in a video onto the layer. So anyways, I got this one right over here. I'm going to add a new page now. So I'm just going to go on to the new page and let's say I'm going to add in this mixable right over here. I can resize this, of course. I can actually uh, rotate this out as well, of course. So I can just keep it over here. So these are little animations that I can, uh, that I can add in. I'm going to add in a new page again and then I'm going to add in this one. That is, it's cooking. Not this one, sorry. So I want to add this one. So it's actually cooking something like a chicken. So I'm going to add in a new page again and then I'm going to add in a chicken over here, just like this. So there you go. I got my four layers of animation ready, each of five seconds. And you can see that it is 20 seconds in total at the top, just like that. So now I can start choosing in the colors. So I can choose uh, colors like, I'm going to choose green for this one. I'm going to choose uh, something like uh, yellow for this one and maybe a, not that pink, but let me just go around here. S something like this pink for this one. And finally, an appetizing orange for this one, just like that. So you can see that now I got these four layers right over here. So one after another, just like a presentation slide, I stack them up together. So once I do that, if I were to click on the play button right here, it'll play the animation out for me. And you can, it actually seems like this. So there's the recipe. And after the five seconds, it'll actually change out to the other slide right over there. And then from the other slide and in next five seconds, you get the next one. And in next five seconds, you get the next one just like that. So that is how the animation will actually play out. And now I can download this as a video file. And of course, you can keep text as you like. So you can go over here onto the recipe. You can add in headings, uh, add in elements as you like and say things like uh, get ready and so forth. Uh, you can resize the animation out over here, keep it onto the side and you get similar animations just like that. So that is how you work around with the animation elements inside of uh, Canva. Another thing you can do is you can also work around with animated animation element templates. So you can go to template right here. You can search for animation and then you'll be able to find templates with animation. For example, the ones with play button, they are the ones with animation. And as you hover around and see free, those are free to use as you can see. So these are not free. The one which does not say free, but this one is free as you can see and is interesting. So I'm just going to click on uh, this button right here. So it'll load up the animation and the template as you can see. And now you can replace this with your messes. For example, uh, I can say something like, Happy days. All right. Happy days. And uh, maybe keep on learning. Keep on learning just like this. And there you go. There's my animation, everything. This is um, the length of this. This animation is around eight seconds, as you can see. But that depends really on the template that you actually are choosing. So you can change the color out as well to match up, as you can see right there. You can change out the color and it contains up this color as well. And there you go. So you have different color range over there as well. So you can change these colors out as well to give it a specific look just like that. 
So you cannot change the animation color as you can see. So animation uh, usually stays as it is just like that. You can only change the other colors. So that's how you can work around with animation elements uh, and animation templates inside of Canva. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.